Okay, here's the base pump. Um, it's 40 to 1 pump. Um, we do have a pressure relief valve in here, so the maximum you're going to be able to go on to this pump is 50 psi. If you go any higher, this is going to blow off. The reason for it being is we don't want to go more than 2,000 psi on the system. So these are the air controls for the pump and for the, the uh, ram. The small regulator is for the ram and gauge, and then the lever is the up-down controls for the ram. The top larger regulator is for the pump. Um, and these yellow things here are your on-off valves for the ram and pump. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get take the uh, follower plate out of the pail just to simulate how to uh, load a new pail on, take an empty pail off. Um, we do have low level level switch right here. So when the pump, when the ram pump gets down too low in the bucket, this will go off, telling you to change the bucket. The reason why is we do not want to run out of material. Um, so, we'll turn on the controls. And there are diagrams here. Red is off. Green is on. So what I did is I just shut the pump off and turned the ram on. Um, there's also a little button right here. This button pressurizes, pressurizes the, uh, the pail. If you didn't have that, when the ram comes up, the pail will come up and it will never come off. Going up, I'm pressing the button, pushing the tail off. There we go. Okay, so you let it come up all the way. This is what we call a, well, we call it a diaper, or we call it a follower plate shield. And all it does is it keeps the material away from the seals. So let's say this bucket was empty, we pull it off, we throw the diaper away. Put the new bucket underneath there. Put a new diaper on. You have to center it. There's a hole about this big in the center. Make sure you have it centered in the pail. And then this is a bleeder port. This is going to be some air in the pail, which we want to get out. Let me just pull that out like that. Now, typically I'll, right now it's set at 40. I'm going to just turn it to zero, and we'll let the ram go down. And I like to lift this up as it goes. Now I'll just slowly turn the ram pressure up. Forward plate goes in. You can hear the air coming out. What we want to usually see is a little bit of fluid coming out of this vent port. So I went up to 100. I'm just going to bring it down to its normal setting, which is 40. Stick this back in. So basically what we did is we just bled all the air out of the pail. So now that we've got our pail loaded and, and the pail is bled, we're going to want to bleed the pump. Right now it's set at about 35 to 40. Start at zero when I go to bleed anything. So I've turned the pump down to zero. I'm going to turn the pump on with a wrench. Usually a wrench. It's Yep, don't have to use it. We're going to open up the bleeder valve. That's just residual fluid pressure coming out of there. And then I'm going to slowly turn the pump up. As you can 
can see the piston rod is moving and it's pumping fluid out. You'll probably get one or two little pops. If you see it take a dive like that, that means the, uh, you don't have enough ram pressure and it's, the uh, follower plate's not going down. So we'll turn that ram pressure up to 60. We'll see what that does. Now let me get another cup. Okay, so there's the air that just popped out. You should see a nice smooth operation of the uh, piston shaft going up and down and uh, no air coming out. And that should do it. So I'll just turn the pump off, close the bleeder valve. And that's all you should need to do when you change buckets. The pump is all bled.